Well, today on Nation Window Cleaners Podcast, we're going to be talking all about bidding over the phone. This is like a huge, huge thing. Uh, If you're not doing it, it's going to save you a ton of time. It's going to book you more jobs. You're going to take more of the market share. So if you're a window cleaner at all, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully you enjoy everything. But this podcast is uh, available every single week. It's been going on for six years, so check it out. But that's what we're talking about today. We're actually talking about bidding over the phone. And this probably is one of the top asked questions of all time. Weekly, people ask about this one. So I haven't done it in a while because I kind of talk about it or touch on it all the time. And uh, sometimes I forget that it's not common knowledge in the practice of doing it. A lot of people like to do it kind of in person still. So I figured I would talk about it today. And there's a lot of things. If you guys are listening, obviously there's millions of downloads on the podcast, but if you guys pull up any of the information and use some of it, you have found probably that in your experience, a lot of this makes sense. A lot of this may be making you more money. Maybe you're advancing your business. There's a lot of different things. Not that I know everything. I'm just some guy that is uh, here, uh, speaks in front of a computer, but... With all that being said, this is a really, 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 really big one. And I was going to start with the why. Like, why would you want to do phone bids? Like, why do bidding over the phone? And you're probably going, oh, I can't do that. My house is, my customers are, hear me out. Let's open-minded for this next, uh, you know, 25 minutes or so. If you're listening, keep an open mind on bidding over the phone. And I'll tell you. When I sold my company at that point, I had done probably 99.9, percent of bids over the phone for years at that point. And there's a few reasons why. The big one is going to be for speed. Now, the bigger you get, if you're doing one bid every week, it's not a big deal. Like you can kind of go out, do a bid. If you're absolutely new in business, this is going to be a little bit harder. There's a math version and there's a, I get this idea or feel version. But with that kind of being said, it is so much faster. I can bid somebody over the phone in three minutes. That's with chit chat, everything, bid them over the phone, and more importantly, get them booked. Because the reality of why somebody's calling you is that they need us to be done. They just need it to, my windows are dirty, I need to, it's not that they're calling and they're like, I need this to be done so it could be off my plate. I just need it to be taken care of, meaning in the works. This is when people also say, um, you know, hey, I'm two weeks out right now. I can't, I can't tell anybody that I'm three weeks out. They'll never do it. Of course they will. Of course they will. There's always going to be people who maybe won't, but for the most part, people don't care about that. They just like, hey, I can see my windows are dirty. I got to call somebody, call you. Okay, cool. Yep, it's all booked. It's done. That's what gets it off their head. That's what makes it done. And that's the part that people sometimes forget. They think that they want it actually completed. But a big thing is, is that if I'm going down the phone book, not phone book, wow, Google, I'm Googling window cleaning. I'm not using a phone book, guys. Come on. Uh, But if I'm going through Google and I'm calling you, you don't answer the phone, what do I do? If I've never used you before, I hang up and I call the next one. That's somebody's initial thing. So if you're not answering every single phone call, you're missing work, thousand percent. But I get the next guy. He answers. He goes, oh yeah, I I can get you a quote. Uh, Be about a week or two before I can get out there. If that's, oh, that's fine. I hang up and go, I'm not waiting two weeks to even, I'm going to call the next guy. Hey, are you guys doing quotes any quicker than, they don't care that it's you. You think they do, but in the very beginning, before they've been taught why they should care that it's you, they don't. 
So the big thing is, is that if I get a phone call and somebody says, hey, I'm just looking for a quote, if I could bring them from start to finish, meaning introduce myself, tell them all about myself, convince them why it's me, give them a price and book them, they're done. They're done. Every piece of this is absolutely done. The big part of this whole scenario is, I say to love your competition. You should. You should absolutely be super friendly with them. You should do things that, uh, you know, work towards having a better relationship with your competition. But the honest truth is, if somebody calls and books with them instead of you, it's business you don't have, potentially forever. Potentially forever, because they may be doing a great job. That customer will never be able to experience you. Now, with all that being said, you're trying to take the most market share, the most customers, and grow your company. That's the truth. That's why you're doing business. So if we can stop that right out of the gate, somebody called, hey, I'm just, you're the one that answered. That's why I'm talking to you right now. But hey, I'm just calling to see if I can get a quote. Awesome. Let me ask you a couple quick questions. and We'll get you a quote right over the phone. Oh, great. Nice. Already, you're farther than anybody else. If I can do that, give them a price, have them be happy on it, and get them booked, it's done. They don't call somebody else. They don't wait for me. I don't get stood up. I don't have to call them. It's done. It's absolutely done. And the first thing is, is that when somebody calls you, you have to track how they heard of you. They have to get a couple bits of information, write it down, log it. If you're using a CRM, put it in the CRM. But it needs to be, okay, I just have a couple quick questions for you. Uh, what's your first and last name? What address are we doing the property at? Um, uh, what's your phone number in case we get disconnected? And uh, what's a great email for us to send that information to? And then finally, before we get this started, how did you hear of us? Those are the questions. That's it. They're already going to give you that information anyway. So you need to know my name and my address. And the phone number, Awesome. Email, you know what, when we're all said and done, that's how you get your confirmations, your bills, all that kind of stuff, right? If you work into getting an email and having them um, get solicitations, that's cool too. That's huge email marketing. But that's it. Those are the starting questions that I have. They're absolutely 100% willing to give that every time. Every single person I've ever talked to has given me that information without question. They're calling for an estimate. They obviously expect that. Right? Okay, great. So as I'm pulling up your property, we use a little bit of satellite imagery, but let me ask you a couple quick questions. So if it's a nice day and you want to open the window, let some breeze in, how do you do that? Do you slide the windows up and down or do you crank them open? All I'm doing by these few questions, couple questions, is understanding what type of windows they have. I'm trying to understand what it is that they see that I don't see from my satellite imagery. And now here's the thing, you can bid per pane, easy. There's a price for that, inside and outside 750, start there. I can look at a project by just driving by, it'll take me about this long. The longer you're in, you know that. You, you could pretty much know how long it'll take you for the most part, right? But I'm gonna ask them the, the few questions. They're gonna say, I slide my window up and down. Okay, great. Now I'm in an area with storms, but this is one of my questions that I asked for that follow up to that. Great. So when you slide it up and down, do you then, can you touch the screen right away? Or do you have to slide another pane of glass up called a triple track storm? Or just say it's called storm window. Oh, no, no. Uh, we got thermal panes, you know, don't no storm windows here. Great. Awesome. On those windows too, um, is it just one piece of glass or is there like a checkerboard pattern in there? They'll say, oh, it's a checkerboard, but it's in between the panes. Or they just may say, oh, yeah, there's grids in there, mullions, whatever they, they're going to call them. Awesome. And if you put your finger up to the window, can you touch them or are they in between the panes? If they're on there, then I know maybe I could take them off, right? I'm doing my follow-up questions for that. If I This is a double-hung window with, oh, great. Uh, so you can touch it? Okay, so it's on the outside. Now, on the little tabs, do those things remove or have you ever touched one? Do they kind of wiggle on the window? Or are they set there, right? Now, 
if they get all the way to the thing and you understand that there's French windows there, maybe you say, okay, great. Well, French windows, we do want to get kind of on site. Blah, blah, blah. If you think there's any questions, maybe then you could do an on site. But you can ask a customer just a couple questions. They're their windows. They know and know everything, right? So let's start over. Hey, on a nice day, you open up. Oh, so I crank it open. Awesome. I know what kind of windows they have. Great. And uh, what's the square footage on your house approximately? That is just for me to go, okay, now I know this is about how big it is. All right, so here's the fun part. Go ahead and close your eyes. I know. Uh, count up your window starting at your front door working to the right. Oh, okay, okay. One, two, three, three. No pressure. Just, you know, think about it there. Okay, I got, I got 25 windows. Right? 25 windows that are double hungs. Or uh, casements, I think we're in our example. 25 windows that are casements, I know per pane pricing, right? Now, in those, I'm gonna ask if those panes unclip, open up, is there blinds in between? I wanna get an idea of this, right? So with just a couple questions, I know that they have 25 casement windows or crank outs, version of both, and I know that each one is going to be, say, 750 ins and outs. If I have an idea of the house, I got 25 windows, that should be maybe a 3,000 square foot house. That's a lot of windows, probably less, right? I understand, I'm breaking it down so I get what it is. Simple questions. Like I'm gonna expand on this because we're talking, me and you. But as a customer, this is super fast. It's been 30 seconds, I already got their information. I know what kind of windows they are, I know their size, I know all that. Okay, awesome. And one other quick question. Are you looking to get your uh, sills uh, cleaned out? We use um, basically a toothbrush and vacuum to really get the deep clean. Uh, no, they're not that bad. Okay. And then uh, your screens. Do you want all of those cleaned also? We'll wash those with our screen washing machine. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Perfect. Okay. They got 25 casement crank out style windows. I know that they have... X amount of screens. I know all of that, the sizing of the house, the where it is. I kind of know the location. I know where it is on my sprout. Awesome. So for that house, we got inside and outside. We'll wipe down your frames and wipe the drips and tracks uh, from the sills. And then we're also going to go ahead and uh, clean those screens like you wanted. A pricing for that is going to be $249. And our first available appointment is on the 16th. Uh, that's Tuesday, and that's between 9 and 10 in the morning, if that works for you. Okay, so let's look at what that just did. Basically, I gave him a price. I gave him a time. I gave him everything, right? They know all of that. Before they go and answer, I'm going to say, and just a few things about what you're getting with this service, too. We are, of course, fully insured. We carry a $2 million insurance policy. Obviously, we have 168 five-star reviews there on Google. We have 100% satisfaction guarantee. That just means if you're not satisfied, you do not pay a dime until we make you satisfied. And finally, we have a seven-day rain guarantee. So yes, we do guarantee against Mother Nature. That means that if it rains within seven days and the rain dirties your windows, you call us, let us know which windows are dirty. We'll come back and make those ones look beautiful for you. I just told them the price, the date, the time, and the why. 99% of people see the, 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 the light at the end of the tunnel. If the pricing was even close to where they their brain, some people think it's going to be 20 bucks, right? If it's absolutely close to what they're thinking, they know that if I just say, yeah, sounds great, I could be done. I did the windows. So people go, yeah, uh, Tuesday actually at uh, 10, does somebody need to be there? Yeah, for the first one, we always like somebody there. After that, once you get familiar with their company, absolutely, we have a lot of customers that just aren't there and we just have codes or keys to their house or whatever. But the first one, we always like people there. 
Great. Uh, yeah. Okay, great. That works. Awesome. Perfect. So when we show up, we'll be there. We'll knock, ring your doorbell. You'll see us. We're in uniform and we all have badges. So you know what techs are there. Super great guys. Um, we'll go ahead, introduce yourselves, explain the process. We'll get going. Oh, great. Awesome. Okay, perfect. I can let them know anything specific there, right? Once I have that entire piece put in, it is done for them. It's not only done for them, it is done for every other one of my competition. If I book them, it stops the competition from getting them. I think people kind of miss that. I think people really kind of miss that part, right? By the way, this podcast is sponsored by Jersey, which is me. Um, I'm a shameless plug of a rep for windowcleaner.com. I have to let you guys know that's what I do, right? This is how I make my money. Obviously, all the content that I do is, is free and I'm making money somehow. But it's people like you who let me put your orders in. They text me, call me, whatever, and say, Jersey, everything's in my cart. And I can put the order in. Absolutely do you get an awesome rep who is in your back pocket for any questions or fitment issues or can you take a look at my cart and see if everything will work together? That's what I do. And I'll do it for you. Absolutely. And uh, I would love nothing more than to put your orders in. That's how I get credit for it. It costs you nothing extra to have a rep. I know you have an insurance guy and you got a, you know, uh, a water guy, you got a whatever. Now you have a rep, a supply guy. That's me. Uh, give me a call. Shoot me a text. Even better, 862-312-2026. I text hundreds of people a week. Uh, literally, no joke. So um, text me. Call me whatever. Um, let me know what I can do for you. I'd love it. Nothing more than that. Um, and uh, by the way, it's a virtual high five of awesomeness. And if you want to be a cool kid, which I know you do, if I put your order in, tell me about a sticker. You'll get my limited edition sticker that I have for only people who put orders in through me. It's like super limited edition cool kid sticker. Um, so go and get that. Also, if you haven't yet, go to uh, awcmag.com. Get a subscription to the American Window Cleaner magazine. It would make me absolutely happy. It is an awesome, awesome magazine filled with awesome pictures and articles and just so much extra goodies, including the sticker sheet, of course, but things that you can keep being a better window cleaner, better business owner. So go AWC. MAG.com, the America Window Cleaner Magazine. It's been around since 1986. It's changed a bunch in what it is, but it's awesome. It's mailed to your door every single month. So go and get that. And uh, I'm always on a big push for my own personal YouTube channel. It's just Jersey underscore uh, nation. So go and subscribe. Also free. Anyway, shameless plug done. Back to what we're talking about. When you take that job from the next guy, they're not calling somebody else. Now, let me let me play devil's advocate. Say that you did all of those things, or all of that still happened except for the quote part. If somebody calls you and goes, hey, I'm just calling for an estimate. And you go, oh, great. Well, I can get to you probably, uh, should be by the end of this week. We'll say, you're nice and fast. Oh, okay, let me give you my address. Do you think that all the time people are like, hey, cool, the guy will be here. We'll wait another week. No, it's in their brain now. Tomorrow, two days from now, however many days, it cools off. Even if they are like, yeah, cool, I'm not going to call anybody else, which very seldom happens that way. If they do that, now it's not in their head. Now, if you come a week later and you're like, hey, I'm calling about that quote, the what? Window cleaning quote you asked. Oh, yeah. It's not in their head. They're not hot on it. They don't want it off their thing. There's nothing. We don't we talk about there's no better time to reschedule the person than when they're exa at the exact moment of happiness when you just get it done. Same thing with, hire, with, with booking them in the first place. The best time you can book them is the time that it's the freshest and hottest in their head, which is the exact moment they call you. Two minutes from when somebody picks up the phone, dials my number, I can have them everything down to booked and in the, in the computer. What happens is you say, I'll be there in a week. A, it's a harder sell because they're cooled off. Your close rate's way down. You're not closing 99.8% of your business. 
more than likely if you're doing in-person estimates. What's happening is they get cooled down, they're gonna call somebody else, they're gonna forget about you, and now it's not gonna be a priority. When it's not a priority, what happens between now and then? Maybe uh, an unexpected, unexpected bill pops up. Maybe they decided they're planning a vacation. Maybe they have some reason they're not gonna hire you. You've waited now that entire week. You've lost them, you let them cool down. By letting them cool down, not only do they, it's a harder sell for you, but now they hang up, okay, great, yeah, we'll see you. They pick up the phone and they call the next person. Hey, uh, I'm just trying to call around and see if somebody can give me a quote. Uh, everybody seems to be like, you know, a week or two before they can get to me and I just, just need a quote, I just need a price. I just need to get this done and you know, I got something coming up. And what happens is, is if the next guy does exactly what I said, they call you back. Hey, uh, just so you know, uh, I did. We decided to go with another company. I, I do appreciate it. I didn't want you to waste your time. That's best case scenario. Worst case is they don't even tell you. You show up, you do the bid, you do everything, they ghost you, you never hear from them. You're like, man, what is going on? That's why they already booked somebody else, but they just didn't want the confrontation. They booked with somebody who did it right over the phone. They booked with somebody who was fast, and guess what? What you could be doing with market share, jobs, all of that, somebody else did to you. No fault of their own, right? They did what you should have. So you got the why, the book, the everything. I'm using satellite imaging. Go to Google. There's a lot of face, um, street, uh, street view, street view. There you go. But there's also satellite. There's also 3D, which you get like this weird, blurry, weird vision. All I'm doing is I'm looking at the, the they've already told me the kind of the windows. I don't need to see how dirty the windows are. I just need to see the shape of the house. If it's like super crazy, weird mansion with nooks and crannies, I may have to go there just to bid it, just to be safe. Satellite imaging programs and simple questions are perfect, but you need to write it all down. I need to log every single time somebody calls me I need to log their information. I need to log, more importantly, how they heard of us. Because how they heard of us is the biggest part that is in their brain. I just Googled you. Great, well, how did you think of window cleaning? They probably saw an ad or whatever. If they keep saying Google, okay. Oh, just pulled this up on places or? Yeah, yeah, you guys had uh, like a bunch of five stars. Awesome, reviews. The reason they found us is reviews. Now I know my money is best spent on nice job or some other program or something to get those reviews. My SEO needs to be better. My blah, 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 blah. Once I know where they're coming from, how they're finding us, I know where my SEO is. People do not ask that question. And then they're like, oh yeah, no one, no one saw my ads. No one saw them or no one told you you saw them because you didn't prompt it anyway to ask. So always, always ask. And it has to be logged because here's the thing. Remember that still say 90, say you're not even great at your spiel yet, 90% of people book with you over the phone right then and there. There's still 10% of those that didn't. I have a checkbox in my log form, by the way. It gets all then put and in, inputted into my uh, Google Sheets and analytics and stuff like that. If you're doing it directly into Sheets, it, there's a lot of analytics. You can take that and build up your um, uh, graphs and things and see, okay, well, here's the biggest piece of the pie is this. I can see that, but I can do conditional formatting in Google Sheets, which is free. Google Sheets and conditional formatting is if there is an X in this box, turn the whole line green. Now that means that when it's booked, somebody calls, I do everything, it's on there, I booked, I hit an X, it turns the whole line green. If there's no X there, the line ends up turning red, yellow, whatever. Now I know that I'm gonna get them in, I'm gonna send them messages, I'm gonna call them the next day, I'm gonna send them a, a, a mail, a postcard or whatever. I'm gonna make, they're, they're hot, they called me, even if they're like, oh yeah, that's just too much. It's, I'm gonna send them something in the mail, a little postcard, a little something. I may call them in a couple of days, hey, just call in to follow up with the uh, estimate that we talked about on Tuesday. Just wanna see if you thought any more about it. I'm gonna absolutely follow up on that because you work so hard to find all these other customers. When you have a customer, you know somebody who wants you so bad, or window cleaning in general, that 
if they do that and you just let them go, they're going to go somewhere else. They're going to do something else. Maybe they're looking for the cheapest price. Maybe it's not what they thought. Maybe they didn't know that they wanted it right now, but you just following up with them. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to stay up with them. And that's the best way to track absolutely everything, right? There's a couple points that I've done everything. I've tracked it. You know that. I've booked the people. They're all like, yeah, yeah it's Tuesday at 10. Awesome. Got you in the books. One last uh, question. We also do gutter cleaning, screen repair, roof cleaning, house washing, whatever the services. Do any of those services sound interesting to you? Is there any of those other services that you may want to pair at the same time? We could save you some money by doing pairing services. Oh, actually, yes. Uh, I know my gutters are getting clogged up there. Uh, what would you ch what would you charge for something like that? Well, I've already looked. I looked at their 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 house. I kind of know the shape. I already know their square footage to some degree. I know that it's a two story. I know everything I need to to ballpark an estimate on gutters. Gutters actually, you can pair that. Uh, gutters for your house would be two forty nine. That's the normal price. Uh, we would take an extra forty bucks off because obviously we're there already. But that's for us to scoop bag and remove all the debris check your down salts make sure everything's flowing perfectly and uh, you're not left with a bucket full of stinky gutter muck Ooh, yeah you know what let's pair it all together now i've upsold i've upsold i booked them i already got them i didn't give them anything to think about for the yes or no and the main one do not upsell before they say yes and book the first service they've already done that so you know at, with an upsell they either say yes or no to the upsell they don't have to figure everything else out if you try to sell them too many things at one time, like, ah, uh, I don't know. You know, let me think about what I want to do. And like the indecision makes them not buy. So once they're booked, then you can do your upsell. Now, what have I done? I've stopped everybody else from getting that call. Every other window cleaning company. I've booked them. I've done them an awesome experience already. Started them in an awesome experience because it's off their, their thing. It's so easy. Oh my gosh, this was so great. Yeah, absolutely. All of that's there. It's all there. The last thing I tell them, and I put this in my spiel, I said, okay, now we'll be there, like I said, Tuesday, the 16th, between 9 and 10. If we're running late or running early, we'll make sure to call you or text you and let you know. And finally, when we get there, we'll count out the windows. And if anything looks weird or maybe we missed some things, we'll let you know. But almost every single time, our estimates are spot on. Oh, great. Awesome. Now I've set their expectations that if I get there and they imaginary counted their window and said it was 12 panes and I get there and it's 112 panes, I can go, okay, great. So when we did the bid, we had down here 12 panes. Looks like you have actually 112 panes. So uh, the price was 199 whatever your price is. The price was $199, so we can still do 12 windows. You pick which windows you want, but if you want the entire project, here's the price for the entire project. So what this does, when people are like, oh, they're going to be so pissed if it's wrong. No, no. Hey, the, the count you told me is 12 windows, 12 panes. That's this price, and I can still do that. This is no bait and switch. I can still do 12. We talked about 12. I priced you 12. We can still do 12. That's what I have planned. You pick the 12, but you got a whole bunch more windows than that. Do you want the whole project done? Here's your new price. Now, if you just go there and you say, oh man, I said it was 199 bucks. It's going to be $1,000 for this house. It's bait and switch. People hate that. They're, no, get out of here because they have one thing. But if I explain that, hey, no, no, not, no bait and switch. You don't have to take this big one. We still talked about 199 for those panes. You picked those panes and we were off on the count. It's no big deal. Next time, this is what it would be. Every time I think that I cannot remember ever anybody actually taking that first one, but they're like, oh my gosh, yeah, I don't know where I was. Uh, it's, I know, you know, sometimes we like close your eyes. It's, it's, it's just hard. So that's why we always, you know, do that. I'm already there. Now, does that screw up my time? Yes, but it's very rare that that happens. Now I, my text, no, I'm going to call the next one to let them know I'm late. I just did everything. I did everything from start to finish. It took me to book that job three minutes three minutes here's my question to you how long does it take you to go do an estimate and i'm not talking about on paper really 
How long does it take you to drive there and drive there back? Round trip, both ways. Talk to the customer about their pets, kids, whatever. Walk around the house. How long did the entire thing take you? I don't think I've ever done an estimate anywhere that took me less than a half an hour. Most of the time it could take even longer depending on the drive or when I get there and I got to put a phone. You did that for a half hour. So you got 10 of those. You're trying to get them all done. You didn't do anything else in the day. I could have done all of those things in 20 minutes. 10 of them I could have done in 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It saves you time, but more importantly, it books them and gets them done. I have a higher close rate by booking over the phone than I do in person because I don't get people standing me up. I don't get people who ghost me. I don't get people who are call the next guy. I don't get people who call and go, yeah, actually I went with somebody else. I don't get any of that because I booked them and stopped them and they didn't even talk to or learn or find out anything about anybody else. They're done. That is the power of booking over the phone. If you're not doing that and you decide this year is going to be big for you, going to be different, this is one thing I think you should try. There's a few really amazing things in business that are game changers. Dentist clothes, you know, I beat that one up. That is one of the, sorry, I don't know why this now program gives me thumbs up when I do that if you're watching on YouTube. It is a game changer. It will change what you do. People are nervous on this one. I don't quite know why they're nervous on it, but uh, try it. Do it. Do a goal. Say for one week, everybody who calls, I'm going to do it this way and see where it goes. I'm telling you, you're going to be blown away. What else I'm telling you is you want a rep for your window cleaning supplies. It literally, instead of hitting like checkout, you hit save this cart and I can put it in. I could check and make sure everything fits right. If you're missing anything, uh, if there's sales or bonuses or, uh, hey, this is a better option. I will let you know that. All I do is verify your address, put it in, and so many of you put your orders in through me every single time. Just be like, Jersey, my cart's ready. Love that. Absolutely. It's literally because of you guys that I exist in this world. I get to pay my bills and eat and live and buy hair gel or band name, brand name band-aids or whatever else everybody tells me I can buy with their uh, whopping commission money. But that's what I do. So I want to put your orders in. Shameless plug, I know, but let me do it. Uh, I would love nothing more. It is a high five of awesomeness. My number directs 862-312-2026. Save me in your phone as Jersey. I'm the only Jersey you know, probably. I think I'd have one other person send you another Jersey, but that's it. That's me. Let me put those orders in. Be absolutely more grateful than you could imagine. Um, also get a magazine subscription, the American Window Cleaner Magazine. It's awcmag.com. Get a subscription. And finally, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have like 400 measly subs, so I could really use your help. It's Jersey underscore nation. Subscribe, there's a bunch of content there. Shorts, videos, all that stuff. I would genuinely appreciate it. But until next week, try this, just even for one week if you're not doing it. But more importantly, go out there and be happy.